After sitting on the sidelines of the full-size premium sedan game for years, Infinity seems ready for action. The automaker's opening salvo is this swoopy Q80 inspiration concept, which made its world debut at the 2014 Paris Auto Show. More than just show stand candy, this sleek fastback claims to be a preview of future Infinity models. As one might expect, Infinity kept the key Q80 drop photos and info for show, but this, at 198.9 inches long, the Q80 is 7.6 inches shorter than the Mercedes-Benz S550, meaning it's still quite bulky. The Infiniti is actually wider than the Benz, measuring 79.8 inches thick compared to the Benz 74.8, and the wheelbase battle between the two is nearly even. Now that you have a useful figure for visualizing Infiniti footprints, Imagine portal-style doors opening to reveal an interior trimmed in leather, aluminum, and carbon fiber. Infinity calls this seating arrangement, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 inch, meaning that the car has room for four passengers. Cool details include an almost full sunroof, which is made of lightweight acoustic glass, and the car's lack of mirrors. Was fine with their absence, which left nothing to break up the flow of his muscular body lines. Hinting that the Q80 has more to offer than good looks, Infiniti says the sedan features both autonomous and engine technology. The Q80 will demonstrate an efficient implementation of a hybrid powertrain, as well as hint hint, nudge wink, additional technology. Suspension details are equally sketchy, with Infiniti only mentioning that the Q80 is meant for advanced adaptive suspension. I know that Infiniti has been considering a halo coupe and sedan for some time, and Infiniti's Q80 announcement suggests that a sedan could take the form of a four-door coupe. But the actual coupe, according to Shiro Nakamura, chief creative officer of Infiniti and senior VP of Nissan, should look fairly similar to a sedan. He has indicated to Top Gear that the brand plans to launch a Q80-influenced two-door coupe in 2015 with the following. It wants to make a two-door coupe. It will come, we'll see it in a year. It will be a production version, slightly bigger than the BMW 4 Series but not as big as the 6 Series. Nakamura also noted that the two-door coupe will take design and styling elements from the Q80.